Hi, I'm Shirley Farrar, and this is On The Spot Career Talk. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what it is that I do. Some may say that I am a career counselor. Others may say that I am a professional school counselor. And many of you who come from various generations prior, you would call me a guidance counselor. The particular position that I hold can be accomplished in K through 12, as well as in higher education. And it also can be done in your local community, in your nonprofit sector, as well as in the uh, federal government itself. This particular uh, position needs a master's degree in counseling and educational settings. However, you can also have a master's in business and law. You can have a master's in various uh, industries if you are going to be helping out large populations within the higher education community. However, if you are going to only teach in K through 12, you are going to need that master's in counseling and educational settings degree. And you're also gonna need some additional certifications, which is the National uh, Career Counseling uh, Certification. Or if you work in higher education, you can just have the degree itself and you can also have the Certified Career Counseling Certification. It's very important that you know the population that you want to work for. Do you want to work for individuals that are 18 and under or do you want to work for adults? And that is it. They are our clients. That is the way that we see them. They are clients. They are the individuals that we help every single day. This particular job, we may provide crisis intervention. That could be before and after school in K through 12, as well as crisis intervention at the higher education level. However, it is only basic crisis intervention. We know as professionals when we're supposed to refer out to those that have a mental health counselor certification or a social working uh, certification. It's very important. We've learned this information in our master programs. We also deal with policies and procedures of an administration or higher education. In addition to that, we uh, provide grief counseling, do project management and student coordinating. We provide various services for both the industries of K through 12, as well as higher education. I know you haven't heard me say career counseling, but that is also one of the pieces that we provide. The career counseling pieces is based on theory, and we try to implement that in any of our programs that we would provide for our community. And it's very important that we don't just select programs for our community, we do assessments, uh, individualized uh, self-assessment, career aspirations. We, we also do community assessments in regards to the population that we are serving. What are the needs of the individuals? Sometimes from our assessments, we find out we have many of our students that have parents that are divorced or there is a community with a growing population of alcohol and drug addictions. So in those things, we try to make sure that we provide the proper counseling for our student body. And that could be at the K through 12, as well as the higher education level. Now, someone who has this particular degree, they're going to make between a level of 56 to $75,000 a year based on education. And that sometimes we also call this an advisor position. So many times in higher education, the advisor will provide the student with the proper classes and various news of employment, things like that. However, a career counselor's position, they could have appointments for an hour at a time to talk and communicate with our students, to get to know them, to assess them, to make sure that not only the student is getting the right degree program, there is need of crisis intervention, the right referrals, but also that the student is on the right career path. And we also do follow-ups afterwards to make sure that if a student, after becoming an alum, is in need of additional transition into a, a different degree program or a job opportunity or career, we are there to assist them in that process. 
I would say that someone going into the field of a career counselor or professional school counselor are people with a great deal of patience, active listening skills. Uh, they definitely can talk. I'm a talker. And we're here just to help. We have a high Holland Code of Social. We really love to help our community. So if you have any other questions in regards to being a career counselor, advisor, uh, professional school counselor, definitely uh, seek me out. Uh, I would love to uh, do an informational interview with you uh, to provide you with additional information. But in order to do this job, you need to be a person that cares for people. You love to be in front of them 94% of the time. You're going to be doing workshops, face-to-face -face counseling with students, working in different various uh, student body, making sure that all students are feeling welcome. Um, and just know that, you know, I'd like to advocate for the community that I am in. Um, we have, I think it's probably about 325,000 people working as a professional school counselor. And the growth rate is about seven to 10% right now. And I think every year they're adding about 37,000 new positions. In this uh, COVID-19 um, pandemic, I know that that is going to increase. I advocate for those that are in my industry, their education background, uh, to make sure that you're getting exactly what it is that you need. Okay, so this is Shirley Farrar and I Hope that today you learned something about what it is that I do. I'm always going to come to you with career aspirations. And hopefully the next time, I'd like to talk to you about gatekeeping. All right, this is Shirley Farrar, and I am signing out.